Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a new question in binary tree. So basically we are given a binary tree, we need to find the average of all the nodes, right? So we'll see one by one and then we'll figure out from the question that what are the important point we have, right? So now first of all if you see that we need to find the average, right? So this is the important point that we have, that we need to find the average now average of all the nodes right now generally if you see that what is the average in general right so let's say we have uh, we have an array and in array we have let's say 10 element so we say that uh, get the average of all the elements of array so what we do we basically get the sum of all the elements and then we divide the number of values right so the same same thing will happen here here we'll need to calculate the sum of all the nodes and then we need to divide by the number of nodes in the binary tree, right? So it means if you see that we need to get the get the sum of so get sum divided by number of nodes, right? So if you see this is what we need to find out, right? So uh, like uh, as we have already covered that how to get the sum of all the nodes and how to get the number of nodes in binary tree, right? So uh, in that what we do that we traverse the binary tree and we take a variable sum. Then whenever we are traversing on a particular node, we add the value of that node into that sum, right? And after that and after completing the complete binary tree, we have the sum of all the nodes, right? So this is how we calculate the sum of all the nodes. So in that what we do, we basically we basically need to traverse the complete binary tree. So if there are n nodes, it means we need to cover all the n nodes, right? So it means uh, to get the sum of the all the nodes, we'll, we'll do in big of n complexity, right? Similarly, if we get this, uh, if we get the number of nodes, so we do uh, also in the same way that we traverse the complete binary tree and whenever we are at particular node, so we add uh, we add the one in the count variable, right? And at the last, once we are completed the binary tree traversal, so the count variable will have the number of nodes for that binary tree, right? So in that also what we are doing, we are traversing the complete binary tree and if they are n nodes, so uh, in that also we'll have the time complexity as big of n, right? So if you see that if we do by using this one, so our overall complexity is big of n, our, our overall complexity big of n, though we need to do in two iteration. One iteration is to calculate this sum and another iteration is to calculate the number of nodes, right? Now the question is that can we improve this approach, right? That here we are doing in two iteration. So somehow can we do uh, some, somehow can we calculate both sum and count in one iteration? So yes, we can do that. So basically what we will do that will will basically traverse the binary tree only once, right? And when we are traversing the binary tree, so we can traverse in any manner. So like let's say we are traversing in pre-order manner. Now we'll take a variable, two variable sum and one variable will be count. So at the starting both sum and count will point to zero. Now whenever we are traversing any node, we'll add the value, uh, we'll add the value in the sum. Similarly, we'll add the one value in the count, right? So like if we start from here, so let's say we have this sum and then we have this count, right? So now what will happen that at the starting sum is zero and count is also zero. So we'll traverse the element two. Now we'll add zero plus two and similarly we'll add a zero plus one. Now we'll go further. Uh, we'll go to next element because you are going left first. Then again we'll add the value and similarly we'll add one here also because and we'll do this because our node is not null. If our node is null then we can simply return, right? Now we'll go to again left. So here we have 10 and we'll also add one. And now because the left is also null and right is also null, so we won't do anything. So it will return, it will return, now it will go to right. Now it will encounter six, so it will add six and here also we'll add one. Now again it will go here and we'll add plus five here and we'll add one here. Similarly, because this is null, 
this is also null so we won't do anything now we'll go to here at 11 it will add plus 11 and it will add plus 1 now it will return because next it, it is null this is also null so we won't do anything it will return it will return now it will go to right side of this 2 so it will add 9 now if you see the left of 9 is null so it means we won't do anything then we'll go to right of 9 so we'll add 3 and here also we'll add 1 right so now 1 2 3 4 and we missed for adding this 9 so we have added 1 also so now uh, and the uh, left of 3 and right of 3 is null so we won't do anything it means we are done with the complete iteration so if you see at the last what we can do we can get average that we sum divided by count right so what is sum if you see that uh, our sum is 2 plus 7 9 9 plus uh, 10 19 19 25 30 then uh, 41 uh, 41 and then 50 53 so our sum is 53 and our count is 8 right and if we are doing it the integer calculation so our answer should be 6 right so this is how we'll get the average of all the nodes in binary tree right and uh, the overall time complexity we have seen the time complexity will be big of n because still we need to do the complete iteration of binary tree but we have improved it from two iteration to only one iteration so in one iteration we can solve this completely right now let me show you through code as well uh, that how I'm doing so here is my binary tree and uh, here is my function get average now at the last I will I will uh, simply get the a dot sum divided by a dot count and I will print that right so if you see in get average what we are doing that first of all we are taking two global variables sum and count now if our node is null then we are returning means we are not doing anything but if it is not the case then uh, we'll add the sum equal to sum plus node of data so we are adding the node of node value in the sum similarly we are adding one in the count variable right and then again we'll and again recursively we'll go to left and then right right so this is how we can get the average and uh, that's it guys about this video and uh, if you have any doubts regarding this please write in the comment section and I will try to explain that and guys I will also put the source code into description section so if you want then also you can get it from there thank you